By the dawn, and by the ten nights, and by the even number and the odd, and by the night when it passes, is there not in all that an oath sufficient for one of perception? Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Ad, with Iram, who had lofty pillars, the likes of whom had never been created in the land, and with Thamud, who carved out the rocks in the valley, and with Pharaoh, owner of the stakes, all of whom oppressed within the lands, and increased therein the corruption. So your Lord poured upon them a scourge of punishment, Indeed, your Lord is in observation. And as for man, when his Lord tries him and thus is generous to him and favors him, he says, My Lord has honored me. But when he tries him and restricts his provision, he says, My Lord has humiliated me. No, but you do not honor the orphan. You do not encourage one another to feed the poor. And you consume inheritance, devouring it altogether. And you love wealth with immense love. No, when the earth has been leveled, pounded and crushed, and your Lord has come and the angels rank upon rank, and brought within view that day is hell. That day man will remember. But what good to him will be the remembrance? He will say, Oh, I wish I had sent ahead some good for my life. So on that day, None will punish as severely as his punishment, and none will bind as severely as his binding of the evildoers. The righteous, it will be said, O reassured soul, turn to your Lord, well pleased and pleasing to him, and enter among my righteous servants, and enter my paradise.